Hello, and welcome to the ACMW virtual booth. At ACMW, which is ACM's Council for Women in Computing, we have a mission for supporting, celebrating, and advocating for women in computing. And in this video, we want to take some time to tell you about what we're doing year-round for women in computing, what we're looking forward to as an organization, and how you could potentially get involved. First, let's hear a little bit more about what ACMW does. So ACM Women offers students and professional chapters where the goal is to build community and break down feelings of isolation. ACM Women also offers celebrations, which are international network of self-sustaining small conferences with the aim to connect technical women who are working or studying within a particular geographical location. Then we have ACM Women scholarships which are given to support women students, undergraduate or graduate, in computer science and related disciplines to attend research-related computer science conferences. And then our most recent initiative is ACM Women Rising Star Award, where we recognize a woman whose early career contributions have made a significant impact on the computing discipline, an annual award. If you have questions on any of the above or how to get involved in any of the above, please visit our newly revamped website, for which we have to thank our communications chair, Batana and Sarah. Our website is women.acm.org. Again, it's women.acm.org. Hi, everyone. I am Elizabeth Ogumbi a doctoral student at Federal University of Agriculture at Belkuta in Nigeria. And I'm also an ACMW member, Federal University of Agriculture chapter in Nigeria. I got to know about ACMW through my research supervisor, Dr. Lua Shifumi Arugundade. There are lots of benefits in being an ACMW member. Some of the benefits include good mentoring, seminar presentation, career talk, attendance of conferences both home and abroad. And I'm glad to announce to everyone that I've been selected as one of the volunteers in this year, in this year, Grace Opa Celebration 21. Thank you. Hi, I'm Katie, a member of the Harvey Mudd College ACMW chapter, also known as Wacom. I first heard about Wacom at the Student Club Fair and I wanted to join the club to meet other women in computer science and also build a support network. The women in my students' ACMW organization have been so encouraging, supportive, and inspiring. As a member of the leadership board, I also do really rewarding work, such as planning workshops, providing mentorship to younger students, and even raising gender-related issues to professors at my college. I've truly loved my time being a part of the ACMW club, and I would highly recommend checking it out for any other students interested in joining a nationwide network of women in computer science. I'm Tibika, a member of the ACMW chapter of VIT Vellore, India. I got to know about ACMW during one of our college events in my first year, and I was lucky to get selected. As a member of the club, I have learned various technologies, collaborated with my peers, organized workshops, hackathons, and initiatives to motivate women students in our college. So far, my journey has been amazing, and I feel I have become a more confident person with a wide network. If you are a university student, you should definitely consider joining this amazing community of women in computing. I'm Mexica and I'm the Universidad Nacional Autónoma de Mexico ACMW Student Chapters Vice Chair. It is in Mexico City and is one of the first chapters in my country. I'm part of ACMW because I'm excited about the idea of creating spaces when we can make visible the achievements of women in this field, celebrate them and inspire others. I discovered ACMW thanks to a teacher. She invited me and my partners to start a chapter. That was one of the best decisions I have ever met because it has motivated me to follow my dreams and I have met extraordinary people. 
Don't he say to your one or start your community. You won't regret it. Hope to see you soon. Bye. Hi, I'm Alex from Greece. I'm studying computer science at the University of Athens. I heard about ACMW from a professor, which is one of the founding members of the Greek ACMW chapter. I believe it is important to encourage and educate women and men in an equal way to achieve their goals. So, this is why I became a member in the Greek ACMW chapter. Never believe that one day I will be representing ACMW in a big event as Grace Harper celebration. But guess what? Life is full of surprises. Looking forward to see you all there. Hi, my name is Meredith Koshi. I'm a rising second year PhD student at School of Information Sciences, University of Illinois at Urbana Champaign. I'm an active member of the UIUC High School ACMW chapter. I first got to know about ACMW while I was serving as an executive board member and events chair of uh, Syracuse University's Women in Technology Club. So when I got to UIUC, I decided to join the ACMW chapter here, and it has been an incredible journey so far. I get to attend the panel discussions, hands-on workshops, and even get to meet inspiring women leaders in the field of technology. For anyone who is interested, I would highly recommend you to check it out and get connected with inspiring women leaders across the globe. Thank you. Hi guys, I'm Shalaka and I'm the chairperson for ACMW NIDK for this year. Uh, our chapter is in Mangalore, India. So I learned of ACMW when I was in my first year and they conducted this coding competition where people from all around the world participated in it. It was really amazing because I made these networks which helped me immensely to grow in my career. I would definitely recommend if you guys have a chapter near you, you should, you should consider applying and it'll be nothing but an amazing opportunity and you'll love it. Hi everyone, my name is Chandra and I'm part of the University of Washington's ACMW student chapter located in Seattle, Washington, USA. I learned about ACMW last year through my school student organization fair, and I thought it was a unique opportunity to take part in a community that is dedicated to the support and advocacy of female computer science students. As part of ACMW, I became an officer in our chapter's outreach committee. We had the opportunity to partner with Girls Who Code to reach out to middle and high school girls in the Seattle area and mentor them in computer science topics. UW's ACMW also hosted several events throughout the school year including a virtual computer science exploration event for young female students that I got to help facilitate. As a computer science major and first generation student at my university, I have found it very rewarding to get to share my passion for technology and support my female peers in their career and academic aspirations. I hope that you will find ACMW to be as meaningful of a community as it has been for me. Hello. My name is Davina and I'm the chair of the UBC Okanagan ACMW chapter called Girls in Tech in Kelowna, BC, Canada. I was one of the founding members of the chapter two years ago when a few of my friends and I wanted to create an inclusive and diverse environment for students in computer science at our university. As an ACMW chapter, we've held multiple professionals and social events to help members build meaningful connections, improve their skills and build their confidence. We have also held career fairs, study sessions, and raised funds to help students attend technical events. Being a part of Girls in Tech has helped me build a more supportive network for women in technology at our university, and it has been an extremely rewarding experience to help support, connect, and inspire the women on our campus. Hi everyone, my name is Dipta, and I'm a member of NITK ACMW student chapter, which is located in Mangalore, India. I first came to know about ACMW in the freshman year of my college where they used to conduct a lot of events to make us aware about various opportunities in the tech field as well as conduct various um, coding competitions exclusively for women to encourage their involvement. ACMW has had a really positive influence on me. I got to expand my network, enhance my skills through different hands-on workshops and of course make amazing memories. 
So if you are looking forward to be a part of a network of amazing women technologists all across the globe, as well as support our mission for the full engagement of women in all aspects of computing, then you should definitely consider joining ACM Top 2. None of our celebrations could happen without our professional and student chapters. The chapters provide community for women in computing through common interests and experiences that create a sense of belonging for our chapter members. Each chapter can forge its own path, but many provide things like professional networking, social activities, tech talks, opportunities to connect with recruiters, career mentoring, and general advice and support. Learn more at um, women.acm.org slash chapter. Biggest on our radar right now to address uh, practitioners is the focus that we've been shifting on to professional chapters. We are looking at ACMW professional chapters as an opportunity for the industry community to bring together um, the women in a particular region, for example, um, to form their own community of support um, and, and do with that community what they see fit. In some cases, they may want to take a technical focus, right, so that they would have um, speakers coming in talking about technical issues. In some cases, they might want to do volunteer work, uh, collaborating perhaps even with their academic uh, you know, sort of community in the area so that they can bridge that academic and industry uh, divide. And that has a lot of potential benefits for students who are currently in that pipeline to get a, a broad perspective of different career possibilities and a lot of opportunities for things like internships and entry level positions uh, coming their way. So I think, I think the professional chapter is probably our number one thing. And of course, I wouldn't want to neglect Bushra, this, this wonderful series that you're doing now um, that is going to also highlight some of the leaders in the practitioner world and, and bring those to women so that they can learn from them. We're excited about the potential of ACMW professional chapters. And if you're interested in starting your own, you'll need a few things. First, you'll need to establish three officers and submit your chapter name and contact information. And you'll also need to have 10 members of varying genders and backgrounds. We hope you'll consider starting a chapter and that you'll recruit new members from regional ACM celebrations, as well as give young professionals a new home after graduation and help create new business connections for support. There are already many established ACMW student chapters around the world, but if you'll need to start your own chapter, here's what you'll need. Two student chairs, one faculty chair, and 10 student members. You'll also need to submit what will be your chapter name and contact information. Check out the quick start guide on our website for more information. Coming together and having a community and talk about uh, what is needed, what can we do for uh, women in computing uh, is a great start. And uh, yes, you may start with big dreams, but starting with small baby steps uh, is very important to have a successful uh, start, kickoff, and then bringing in more volunteers. Here, the basic uh, important uh, thing, thing is uh, volunteer work. I really find a lot of value in volunteer work. And I love working with volunteers because they work from their hearts. Uh, and then you touch some lives. Uh, and you receive feedback from them, which is uh, very rewarding. And they don't have to spend a lot of time. Just focus, start small, bring together people and try to help based on the needs. 
We have specific chairs for our most populated regions. If you need more support holding a celebration or starting a chapter in North America, India, or Europe, make sure to reach out to your respective chair. We're looking forward to growing this list of regions in the future, so keep up the great work if you're in an emerging ACMW region. A wealth of career paths out there that needs exploration. And hence we designed this series. We want to enable students and early career professionals to expand their horizons, learn about the multitude of career options available, and make informed choices about how, what's the right next step for your professional journey. Starting next session, we will invite speakers who will belong to the general umbrella of computing, but will represent different career paths and technical areas. In their journeys, we will try to find inspiration and advice on how to be successful in those career choices. The clips you've seen in this video are from our first session of a series called Celebrating Technology Leaders. This webinar series is focusing on exploring careers in computing and will announce more videos throughout the year, but you can check out this first session on YouTube. We'd also like to take some time to discuss our new Rising Star Award. This year, ACMW would like to announce Dr. Vivian C. as the winner of the inaugural ACMW Rising Star Award. The ACMW Rising Star Award recognizes a woman whose early career research has had a significant impact on the computing discipline. Dr. C. will receive a framed certificate and a $1,000 stipend. We'd like to thank Dr. Andrea Goldsmith for her donation, which was used to establish this award. Learn more on our website. We'd also like to celebrate an award from our parent org, ACM. The ACM Athena Lecture Award celebrates women researchers who have made fundamental contributions to computer science. Sarit Kraus of Bar Ilan University was named the 2020-2021 Athena Lecturer. Krauss made foundational contributions to artificial intelligence, notably to multi-agent systems, human-agent interaction, autonomous agents, and non-monotonic reasoning. She's shown exemplary service and leadership in these fields. Learn more about this award at awards.acm.org slash Athena. The ACMW Scholarship Program allows early in career women students to travel to a research conference to open their eyes to the world of research and to help them aspire to something they might not otherwise even consider. Every year we fund many students and the student does not have to present a paper at the conference to be eligible for a scholarship. Applications are evaluated six times a year to distribute awards across a range of conferences. If conferences or workshops are canceled or postponed, we discuss with the students how to best use their awards. For more information and to apply, visit women.acm.org slash scholarships. We are so proud of our ACMW scholars of 2020, and we hope to include you as next year's scholar. As Bushra mentioned, an important part of what ACMW does is host our ACMW celebrations. While taking part in this event or previous Grace Hopper conferences, you might be wondering how you could bring some of this magic back to your home communities. And ACMW does this through our celebrations of women in computing. We support local and low-cost conferences that highlight technical research and careers in computing for your community. We offer lots of support for these celebrations, such as seed funds, online registration, proposals management, website hosting, accounts payable, insurance, and even open source digital content for stickers and posters. None of our celebrations could happen without our professional and student chapters. The chapters provide community for women in computing through common interests and experiences that create a sense of belonging for our chapter members. 
Each chapter can forge its own path, but many provide things like professional networking, social activities, tech talks, opportunities to connect with recruiters, career mentoring, and general advice and support. Learn more at um, women.acm.org slash chapter. So thank you for stopping by our virtual booth, and we hope to join you on your journey in computing.